This is your National Registry Advanced Level Psychomotor Examination Pediatric Intraosseous Infusion. You have before you a 22 pound baby that requires a fluid bolus. You have been unable to obtain IV access. Okay, uh, BSI, seen safety? You're seen it safe. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check my fluid, make sure that it is in fact proper fluid, uh, that it is not expired and that it is clear that there's no particulates. I'm gonna set that off to the side for now. I'm gonna make sure that I have on my equipment and that it is functioning, make sure my IO needle is functioning. Uh, make sure that I have my stack cock, uh, also my administration set, and my saline flush. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my administration set. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and locate the patient's knee. Um, I'm going to find the bony prominence below that, which is the tibial tuberosity. I'm going to go two finger widths below that and find my uh, insertion point, making sure that I'm not going to hit the growth plate. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my site with an alcohol prep pad. And I'm going to cleanse my site in a circular motion going away from the point of insertion. So after my site is cleansed, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my equipment. I'm going to go ahead and flush all the air out of my soft pack. Go ahead and prepare my needle, remove the cap. So I'm going to go ahead and stabilize the patient's leg. I'm going to insert at a 90 degree angle. Pushing downward and twisting. Okay, so once I feel the pop, I'm going to go ahead and stabilize my needle. I'm also going to move the needle. I'm going to dispose of my sharp and sharps container. I'm going to twist the needle so it's flush with the patient's skin. And I'm going to go ahead and Try to aspirate some bone marrow. I'm going to draw back on the needle. Uh, once I see that I've aspirated some bone marrow, I'm going to go ahead and flush the site. And after I flush, I'm going to make sure that there's no infiltration, um, as well as no redness or edema. Make sure not to let go of my needle. I'm going to go ahead and attach my line. I'm going to open my line up to make sure that it's flowing. Okay, so once I see that my line's flowing, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it right now to TKO. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and stabilize my needle. Still making sure not to let go of it. So once my needle is stabilized, I know that my patient is a 22 pounds. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and divide that into kilograms, which is 10 kilograms. Uh, I know I need to initiate a 100 cc fluid bolus. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my flow rate to the right rate uh, and desert the patient for desired effects in rapid transport. Anything you want to change or add or detract? No. All right, let's conclude your station.